Good morning, you guys. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I typically get freshened up in the morning. So I'm gonna show you how I style my hair, my skincare, and also my minimal makeup routine. So first I start out by brushing my hair to get all the tangles out. And I always love to listen to something in the morning while I get ready, whether it's a positive affirmation meditation, maybe some music that makes me feel good, or a podcast. And then I pin my bangs back so they're out of my face while I do my skincare. And I like to apply a bit of oil to my ends. I usually will use argon oil or jojoba oil. And then you guessed it, I put my hair in a braid. I know I'm always wearing a braid. I am boring when it comes to hairstyles, but it's just an easy protective hairstyle for me. I think it looks nice. And I always like to puff my braid out to make it look even bigger. That is my trick to a thick looking braid. And then I throw on a headband. This is my trick for covering up my bangs when I don't want to style them. And I will mention that the first thing I usually do is brush my teeth, use my tongue scraper and floss. And I also put my contact lenses in because I need to see. I keep trying to be consistent with doing the Bates Method eye exercises for improving eyesight, but I keep getting lazy with it. I need to commit. Let me know if any of you guys have tried the Bates Method and if you've seen improvement with your eyes. Then I spray my face with some pure rose rose mist and while my skin is still wet from the mist I will just massage a bit of the Blue Beautify Pineapple Exfoliant in. Now I don't use this every morning, just two to three times a week. I have a few favorite cleansers I use. I love the Fit Glow Makeup Cleansing Oil as an oil cleanser. And if you prefer more of a traditional creamy gel cleanser, I love the Blue Beautify Grapefruit Cleanser. But today I'm exfoliating my skin and I love how fresh and clean it leaves my skin from the fruit enzymes from the pineapple and the papaya. You're supposed to apply this to cleanse skin, but I like just using it as a cleanser because I find my skin doesn't need too much cleansing in the morning. I usually just let that sit on my skin for a few minutes before I wash it off. So while I'm waiting, I'll just have a sip of my green drink. I have athletic greens every single morning. Maybe I'll do a few squats to get some movement in or just dance around to whatever music I'm listening to. And then I just rinse the exfoliant off and gently pat my skin dry. Now moving on to deodorant, I want to thank Native for sponsoring this video. I have been absolutely loving their deodorant. So here I have their plastic free deodorant, which uses the same formula as their regular deodorant, but with more sustainable packaging. The packaging is made from paperboard and Native is committed to sourcing from responsibly managed forests and they donate 1% of their plastic free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. The formula doesn't irritate my skin, it's non-sticky, it dries really quickly, and it wears all day. The deodorants are aluminum, paraben, and sulfate free, and they're made from simple ingredients like coconut oil, shea butter, and baking soda, and they're vegan and cruelty free. They have many scents to choose from, and new scents are being released all the time. So I have three scents here, but my favorite scent is their cucumber mint. It's so refreshing, I love this scent. And then I have the lavender rose so this is more of a floral scent and then I also have this unscented one three plastic free deodorants are usually $39 but if you use my link and my code holistic you will get them for $29 so that's 25% off and now I'm just spraying my face with some fit glow beauty day essence this contains plum melanin, which apparently helps protect your skin from blue light from your cell phone or computers. And now on to some cooling rose quartz rollers. I like to put these in the fridge to get them nice and cold, and then I just massage my face with them. And it's really great for deep puffing under the eyes in the morning, and it just kind of wakes your skin up. And I mean, who wouldn't want to rub crystals on their face first thing in the morning? And then I'm just tapping my face to bring some circulation to my skin and wake it up even more. Now I'm just applying some Blue Beautify Rose Hyaluronic Serum to my face. This is probably my favorite serum. It really helps hydrate the skin. It has organic rose water, hyaluronic acid, and marine pine bark extract. And then to add a bit of moisture, I'm applying some of the Blue Beautify Goji Berry Moisturizer. 
This has so many beautiful ingredients like aloe vera leaf juice, organic raw goji berry, hyaluronic acid, organic cold pressed pomegranate seed oil, organic avocado oil, green tea seed oil, lots of nourishing ingredients for the skin. And I like to just give my face a little bit of a massage to help relieve any tension that I'm holding, especially in the jaw area. And then around my eyes, I gently pat on some of the Blue Beautifly Green Coffee Eye Moisturizer. The organic raw green coffee in this moisturizer is rich in caffeine and antioxidants to help depuff around the eyes. It just helps wake your eyes up a bit, especially after those cooling rose quartz rollers. Now it's time to move on to my simple everyday makeup. So I'm applying some Cary Grant Essential SPF Sunscreen. This is made with non-nanoized zinc oxide, French plum oil, and red raspberry seed oil. Lots of skin protecting ingredients. So I just work that into the skin until the white cast is gone. And for my everyday makeup, I don't use foundation. I just use a bit of concealer. So I'm going in with my Fit Glow Correct Plus Peach Color Corrector, which corrects darkness around the eyes. Then I apply a bit of the Fit Glow Concealer in C2.5 under my eyes and a bit around my nose. This is the best concealer in the world. It's actually like skincare and makeup in one. It has organic green tea, vitamin K, and licorice root to diminish the look of pigmentation. And then I go in with my Plume Science Nourish and Define Brow Pencil in Ashy Daybreak and just give my eyebrows some life because eyebrows truly can make the face. Then I apply some Fit Glow Lumi Firm Cream Blush in Joy, which is a beautiful rose gold shade. And this contains lots of nourishing ingredients for the skin as well. And it just adds a nice healthy flush to my complexion. I love to just keep my makeup super simple and natural looking. And then to finish off the makeup look, I'm applying the Fit Glow Lip Liner in Buff. And you guys, this is my new favorite natural lip liner. And this shade is perfect because it looks like my lips, but just a bit more enhanced. So I just line my lips and fill them in with it. And then to add a bit of moisture to my lips, I'm popping on some of the Henne Organics Luxury Lip Tint in Sunlit. This is a beautiful peachy color and it's made from super nourishing organic ingredients. Now I'm just giving my face another spray with that rose mist to refresh my skin and that's pretty much it for the makeup. Now back to the bangs. I usually wear a headband to disguise my bangs because I just can't be bothered to style them every day. However, today since I'm filming, I won't be lazy and I'll style them for you. So I just wash them in the sink with a bit of shampoo, no conditioner, and then I just blow dry them and push them to the side to give me that curtain look. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me this morning. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!